All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Elijah. I go by Falcon. Uh, I stream on Twitch, and today we're going to go over Camlink 4K. I have three different devices. We're going to be testing the Camlink with this uh, Canon Rebel T3i. The Sony HDR CX675. And we're going to be pitting it up against this Logitech Brio 4K. Right now, this is being shot at least. Um, <laughs> that me is being shot with the 4K. This camera is a Logitech 920 that I just used to kind of show my setup uh, when I'm streaming and to show you what we're looking at here and how the setup has been. Uh, I re so I, I posted on my uh, social a little camera comparison. And what I found out when I got this cam link is that my Brio was misconfigured. Now, what I found, though, is that these other devices, SLR and my camcorder, aren't quite up to the task of competing with a 4K sensor because neither of them have a 4K sensor. So this isn't necessarily a comparison um, with the Logitech Brio 4K as much as it is, it is just to show the difference between a webcam 4K and devices that are going through the cam link. So cam link actually works really great. And let's go just go ahead and get into it. So I started with my SLR camera. And what I learned some lessons on this one. I learned that this particular SLR camera is not compatible with the cam link. As a mini HDMI this is what the cam link looks like if you haven't seen it before. It's just a USB 3.0 and on the other side it has an HDMI. So I just plug in the HDMI to HDMI. I'm going to turn my SLR on and I'm going to set it to video mode. Try and squeeze this right in here so you can get the best example. So we're kind of comparing that Brio with the SLR. All right, so I think I have it hidden right now. I'm going to enable it. Okay. I'm going to have to go into the properties, deactivate, and reactivate. There it is. Okay. So zoom. It actually has decent quality. And this is actually when I realized, I was like, you know what, my 4K camera, it's unconfigured. Um, but the issue here with this camera, you can see all those square dots around it. Um, so this is what they refer to as a clean HDMI out. Um, the other thing, so it froze. Uh, <laughs> that was one of the problems. Let me deactivate and reactivate it again. See, So right off the bat, this camera's out. Uh, El Elgato actually has a list of cameras that are, are not compatible. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this, hide it, and I will enable the camcorder. And now hook the camcorder up. Now this one has a different connector. I think this is considered a micro HDMI. I never know which one they consider micro, which one they consider mini. Go to the properties and activate it and show you. All right, so this actually is pretty good. So you don't have all those squares around it. Um, that's great. However, it's still only 1080p. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this over slightly. And I'm going to enlarge my 4K. So you can kind of see the difference. But my 4K camera, the Brio, is much brighter. Um, it, the colors are not as rich. So it feels almost a little washed out. Maybe that's something I still need to configure. Um, but this Camlink 4K made me realize that my Brio was misconfigured. If I didn't have the Brio and I just had this camcorder and the Camlink, totally would use that because this actually works really cool. Um, this CX, 
uh, Sony camera isn't on the Elgato list as far as I saw. However, it seems to work pretty great just from the testing that I've done. Um, I'm very thankful to Elgato for uh, making me realize that my Brio was misconfigured in Streamlabs. And I'm not going to go with that for now. And actually, interesting, it just froze. Maybe another reason why uh, it's not showing up on the site is because it's freezing up. Activate, activate. There we go. I probably don't want to have to go into Streamlabs settings to reset that um, when I'm in the middle of a game streaming. Right. So I mentioned that this cam link is what helped me figure out that my Brio was misconfigured. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what that configuration looks like. So let me get over here to the desktop recording screen. and I'm going to go ahead and add that video capture device, Brio. All right, that is a lot of me. So we're going to just fit me to screen here real quick. All right, so I have to turn off uh, the crop pad filter, I believe. And then I'm going to change this back to device default. Okay, now you can see this looks much worse <laughs> than what I had before. I'm very blobby. Um, but I didn't really have anything to compare it to. So I just kind of threw myself down in the corner and had at it. So what I did instead was I went to the properties and I changed it to custom and I set it to the 4k option. Click done. And you see, there's kind of an issue here because when you set it to that, after having it at such a small resolution, it's way off the screen. And you can kind of see the artifacting of my green screen and my cropping not being there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re-enable my crop. Done. And I'm gonna right click, go to transform, and I'm gonna fit to screen. And voila, now I'm in 4K. DJ Falcon coming to you live from Dance Studio. But anyway, um, I hope this was helpful for anyone in the market for this. So again, if you have if you have a 4K SLR um, or camcorder that is compatible with this, then by all means go and get it because it's great. Um, if you don't, it might be more economical just to get a Logitech Brio or even just a 9, 920, 922, uh, something that can do 1080p. Because both of the, this sensor, this Sony camera is a 1080p. The one before, the video sensor on that was actually only uh, 720p. But great product. It's not necessarily going to be best for me right now. Um, I'm eyeing some 4K SLR cameras, but they're like in the thousands range. So until I'm making thousands off of this stream, I'm thinking this Brio 4K is going to be enough. And even then, I may not change that uh, because it's it might be overkill for what I'm trying to do. But anyway, if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe. Check out uh, when I'm streaming Twitch.tv Falcon TTV. I generally try to stream Tuesday through Thursday between 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern time. If you have any comments or questions, you can shoot them uh, down below in the comment section or reach out um, on our Discord, which you can find at thunderrockgaming.com. I hope this was informative and helpful. Uh, this type of stuff isn't necessarily in my wheelhouse as far as like the specifications of cameras um, and all that little minutia and how to configure them. I'm much more on the technical side. So hopefully at least the technical pieces of this were helpful. But I'm going to turn that off because that uh, multiple me is making me nauseous. Thanks for watching. Peace.